Okay, obviously uh, the next fish you see is a kingfish, and I'll just get Len to, uh, to run through how you've sort of pulled the backbone out or go right down that backbone and be, take the rib cage out basically last. Uh, again, most important with your snapper or your bigger fish, it does, a lot of guys like that, that shorter blade. And uh, me personally, I like the longer blade, but as long as it's working for you, a lot of guys, it's like that shorter blade or the, the, the boning knife or the six inch knife works extremely well. I'll get Len to get stuck into this fella. And again, it's pretty much the same as the snapper, just working behind that, uh, that fin along the backbone. He's a nice fresh fish too. And again, just nice and simple and through. I know I'm a broken record, take your time, that's most important. And just follow that backbone along. And just take that last little section out, nice and simple. Now they're a very soft fish, it's a little bit uh, like doing your coral trout. Easy fish to fill it. And uh, with patience, nice and, nice and simple. Now again, you'll see him work around that backbone. And again, and it comes back to that nice way of doing it. It's quicker this way, you don't have to scale. You don't have to gut, you don't have to take anything out, and that's basically, you won't get better than that as a perfect filler. That's just absolutely magnificent. Looks good, simple, and again, the only thing we need to do now is, when we've got a sec, is just take off that skin. So again, finger down, just follow it through. Maybe go with a bit longer blade, and just work it on through. Now once again, just follow the table along. Don't press too hard. Your knife's nice and sharp and it's just simple and easy. And you'll see he's actually moving it from left to right, which gives you a little bit of uh, movement and it actually cuts through. And I mean, as I said to you before, basically that's pretty close to the perfect fillet. It's that simple and that's e that easy. Okay, no bones, which is obviously most important. You can see again, Len's just touching up again on the steel. Not too much angle and uh, away you go. It is a good idea when you're doing bigger fish, every time you finish, just one side, give it a light touch up on the steel, and away you go. Follow that backbone along. Something else I need to see, you'll see where Len's hand is at the moment, it is extremely important you always cut away from your hand for safety reasons. So again, he'll always work away from his hand, which is most important, quite often just gripping that fish by the head, and that's where that soft touch comes in. By the way, most people cut themselves very, very badly on blunt knives. It is extremely important your knife is sharp. And again, just through, take out that rib cage, and again, that fillet is uh, just beautiful. So the last little bit off, and again, basically the perfect fillet with no bones. We'll just take the skin off that fella, just to finish him off. And uh, no more I can say about that, perfect. And again, without too much effort too, I mean, he's been filleting for a long time, but if you basically follow the steps, you'll fill it just as well as Len and everybody else. And then it's a bit of practice, so you've got to get out there and catch a few. It's Bill Classen here from The Fishing Show, and if you like this instructional video and want to learn more, it's simple. Go to fishingshowtv.com.au and see a whole host of additional videos.